Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to learn how to animate when a character gets scared or shocked. So oftentimes in anime you can see a character get scared or shocked by something, they will start to shake a little bit. So, hopefully you can see from the reference image I have that she, here she is shaking a little bit. Now you can keyframe the, the chest bone here. To, this bone to basically just move back and forth but you will have to do each frame and that will be quite tedious so but there's an easier way to do that and that is to use modifiers so that's what I'm going to show what to do in this video what you're going to do is you're going to select your chest bone and you're going to go to your Action editor and then you go to the graph editor. You can go from the action editor to graph editor by touching control tab. And this is going to give you all your panels. If you open this up, so what we want to do is animate the X location. What you can do is X and press N or click this tab here. Open the modifiers tab. Uh, right now, there's a whole bunch of um, other channels here for location and scales. So you, in order to just see which one you want to look at, you can just hide and open up only the X location. Now we're going to go to the modifiers tab, and then we can add a noise modifier to this bone. Now doing this adds the modifier to the entire the entire uh, curve. So all you need is one keyframe and it will affect the entire animation. So what you can do is you can change the options here, you can change the scale, which will affect how big the curves are. You can change the strength, which affects how influence it has whether it's high or low you can offset it by moving it moving the entire curve back and forth different position or you can change the seed of the, the curve become a different seed using the space and the depth is how much detail that you want to put in your curve so the more more noise you can increase the number or less noise increase the number and you can put the influence plot to see how much influence your curve is patient the slider right and now for our particular case we want to have it animated only on specific frames so there is a restrict frame range option here open this up you can have a start and end frame so in our case There is no shaking in the previous frames, only on frame 21, 21 to 25. We can start to 21, 25. And now, now this would mean that it only affects these four frames. So now, shaking is a little bit too much right now. We only want it to be small and very subtle. So, I'm going to lower the string just a little bit. It's a little bit too much in that point one. Good point zero one. Get even lower. And 
and this could be good maybe because the influence is down also you can play with this So in my scene, she has she's checking for these four frames, and then she also she stops here, and she starts back at twenty nine to the end. So even though we we can only put in one for this one, we can add in another one. We close this one. We can add in another noise, and that frame range. 29, 34, and copy the settings. Oh, one, zero, one, and copy the info. Point four. Right. Oh, also forgot to mention the blended and blend out is we increased it to one again. Blend and blend out is to ease in and ease out the the beginning and end. You increase this. Ease slowly get into the noise curve. But we don't need that for our animation. We just want it to be moving back and forth. This is okay. Let me just change this back. Five zero one. That's pretty much it. You can also put in the put in the on location too if you want. And an easy way to do this is to just copy from the one you just made. So this one, there is a copy button here and a paste button here. You copy this. Then you click on Y, and then you can add the noise. Put it on, and paste, paste the noise here. And then it will be the same. So let's press home and see it. Oops, okay, so here, so this is all the same, same frames. She's going to be moving back and forth here. Can't really see it, it's very subtle. So you've turned it down really low. That's pretty much it for this. Just an easy way to do this type of animation. Alright, I hope that was helpful for you guys. See you guys in the next one.